Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today we're trying Hungry Man's new 15 ounce Angus Meatloaf Double Meat Bowl, which cost $3.48. That's right, it was only a matter of time before Hungry Man joined the bowl craze. The Angus Meatloaf Double Meat Bowl has two meatloaf slices, cheddar grits, red peppers, onions, and bourbon gravy. Now I'm from the South, and I absolutely love grits, so this is a refreshing change to the standard pasty frozen TV dinner mashed potatoes. Hunger Man says, so hearty you'll need a knife. Well, that doesn't sound so good. The only meatloaf you should need a knife with is your mother-in-law's. A good meatloaf you should be able to cut with a fork. Here's a list of all the ingredients, and although it looks like a bunch of ingredients, it's really not. The grits only have six ingredients and they have real cheddar cheese. Even the meatloaf only has 13 ingredients and no TVP. I know 13 ingredients is a lot, but when you're talking about a processed frozen dinner, it's not that many. The very interesting ingredient in the meatloaf is Rochester sauce. Rochester sauce is what's used to top the famous garbage plates in Rochester, New York. So I found it very interesting that they put Rochester sauce in their meatloaf. Is that a thing? If you've ever put Rochester sauce in your meatloaf, let me know. And finally, we have the bourbon gravy. How could you go wrong with a bourbon gravy that has wine and a bourbon reduction? The Whole Hungry Man Double Meat Meatloaf Bowl has 580 calories, 35 grams of total fat, 15 grams of saturated fat, one and a half grams of trans fat, 120 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,930 milligrams of sodium, 37 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, eight grams of sugars, and 29 grams of protein. Now this is the second Hungry Man meal in a row that I've done and it has right at or over 2,000 milligrams of sodium. I know our body needs sodium, but if you eat one of these, you pretty much shouldn't eat any additional sodium for the day. It's only recommended you heat these bowls in the microwave. So let's get it out of the box and heat it up. And out of the box, it sure doesn't look like much, but we'll see once it's heated up. So it went into the microwave for four and a half minutes with the plastic film unvented and still attached. After four and a half minutes, pull it out of the microwave and rearrange the meat patties. Then recover and microwave for another three and a half to four and a half minutes. After heating in the microwave for a total of eight minutes, our Hunger Man Double Meat Angus Meatloaf Bowl is ready. Once again, like in most of these frozen meals lately, if you heat them according to the directions on the box, the meat will be well past the recommended 165 degrees. Now the meatloaf doesn't look perfect, which I'm okay with. It doesn't look like it was stamped out on a conveyor belt. And it doesn't have those stupid grill marks that you see on some frozen meals. So we move the meatloaf over, and then give the cheesy grits a stir, which at first looked runny, but after they were mixed, they thickened up nicely. We try the cheese grits with some pepper and onion. The grits were very good, creamy and cheesy and the pepper and onion added a nice sweet flavor. Even on their own, the grits were very good. I love what Hungry Man did here by replacing the usually just barely edible dull mashed potatoes with something out of the box, pun intended, like grits of all things. Some people have never tried grits, and I find that saddening. If you've never had grits, the next time you're at the store, pick up some. But don't pick up the instant ones pick up real grits. Next we try the meatloaf. I don't know why Hunger Man put you need a knife, because these meatloaf patties were super tender. The meatloaf patties were also very light, and when I say very light, I mean the meat hasn't been overworked and packed to the point it becomes dense and tough. The flavor and texture of the meatloaf was surprising. Surprisingly good but that first bite I had was very salty. 
which I attributed to the bourbon gravy. So I tried the gravy by itself and there certainly wasn't very much gravy. The gravy was very good and it definitely wasn't the cause of the saltiness. The final bite was great and not overly salty. I'm not sure where the saltiness came from in the first bite, but the rest of the meal was just fine. I really like this meal. The quality, flavor, and amount of food you get for $3.48 was on point. This didn't taste like an average frozen dinner, which is why I'm giving Hungry Man's Angus Meatloaf Double Bowl a 9 out of 10. Hungry Man, you did a great job on this one, especially adding something different like the grits. But I'd like to see you make a meal with the same grits and add shrimp to it for a shrimp and grits frozen dinner. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.